a man was left stunned after a giant hog arrived outside his home, shooting it with a handgun to save his family from Hogzalula. The mammoth 820-pound creature strolled into Wade Seago's garden looking for food. He knew something was wrong at his home in Alabama when his pet schnauzer, Cruiser, started barking constantly. The family lives on 100 acres in rural South Alabama town surrounded with wildlife so it's not unusual for their dog to bark at deer, raccoons or other wild visitors. But Wade knew this was different. When his daughter started to scream, Wade explained, I jumped up to see what was going on. I looked out the back window and saw nothing, so I ran to the front of the house where my daughter was looking out the window. I couldn't believe what I was seeing. Taxidermist Wade added, Cruiser had this huge hog confused with all of the barking and movement. It was not a good situation. Wade then grabbed his .38 caliber revolver went out on the front porch. By the time I got in a position to shoot, the hog was about 12 yards away, he told local media. Cruiser was out of my line to the hog so I fired. Three shots later and the hog was dead on his lawn. The Alabama Department of Conservation and Natural Resources said feral hogs pose a serious threat to native wildlife. The organization said they can breed quickly, have few predators, and voracious omnivorous feeding habits. Their destructive rooting behavior and habitat destruction are just a few reasons why Alabama sportsmen and land managers are encouraged to help control the non-native species. They are believed to cause some $800 million in agricultural damage in the United States annually. Feral hogs are considered a game animal in Alabama and have no closed season and no bag limits. This means that on private land, hunters can legally hunt hogs every day of the year with no harvest restrictions. I didn't think twice about taking down this hog, Wade said, adding, I'd do it again tomorrow.